drop a heart right now if you're really sick and tired of being sick and tired. Now I'm talking about for real, right? Drop a heart right now if you're tired of going through what you're going through. Drop a heart right now if you're tired of selling for less in your life, right? Drop a heart, say amen. Say straight up, say something so I can see you, man, because a lot of times, man, you know, we in a war. And I wanna tell you, man, you in a war. You in a war every single day, whether you know it or not. And so I'm gonna give a few minutes for people to get on here and I gotta finish my run. But as always, man, when I'm feeling that energy, when I'm feeling that passion, I'm gonna press live. So if you can share this right now, that would be great. But I want, I want you to really understand what these words mean. And the message isn't about this, but protect your peace. Matter of fact, let me know what that means to you. Put in the comments right now, what does the words protect your peace mean to you? Because there's a war for your peace. There's a war for your peace. And how the enemy, how the world, how outside things win that war is they make you lose your focus. They make you believe the lies. They make you question yourself. They make you think that you're not enough when you were created enough. They make you think that there's no more to your life because something ended. And I wanna tell you right now, man, just because something ended doesn't mean that your life has to end. Oftentimes, something ending is the most powerful thing that can happen because sometimes it takes something ending for something powerful to begin. I know a lot of us on this live can relate. I know a lot of us have went through things that ended and we ended up being blessed down the line. It might not have made sense then, but it ends up making sense at a point in time in our life. But we got to get to a point and understand, man, that there's a war for our peace. There's a war for our worth. There's a war for our life. And sometimes the enemy ain't people. Sometimes the enemy is us. Sometimes the enemy is social media. Sometimes the enemy is the most simplest things that ain't even meant to be an enemy. But we start living our life like that. And this is what I thought about on my run. This is what I really want to talk about right now. On my run, these thoughts went through my head and I want to share it with you right quick. These thoughts went through my head and was like, man, this world wants to have mind control over you because the greatest war you ever will face is between your two ears. It's right here. This is where the battle was fought. This is where the battle was won. This is where the battle was lost. Because a lot of us, we have counted ourselves out and we operate like that. A lot of us, we've allowed outsized things to defeat us, and now we're defeating ourselves because we have accepted defeat. We have accepted that this is our life. And so as I was running, and as I woke up today, the enemy, when I say the enemy, it could be myself, it could be, you know, the devil, it could be people, it could be, like I said, people that don't even, they're not even trying to be the enemy. Just distraction is the greatest enemy that we all have to get us distracted off what matters so we focus on what don't matter. To get us distracted off of how special we are. To get us distracted off of our peace so we are entertained and focused on chaos. To get us distracted on all the blessings in our life so we now are focused on all the things that we don't have. And that's the war that we're battling every single day. So when I woke up today, my mind was telling me that I should stay in, that I don't have enough strength, that I'm too out of shape to come back the next day, that I won't be able to finish. And my mind kept telling me limitations. My mind kept telling me that I wasn't enough. My mind kept telling me, man, you're not, you're gonna go out here and your back is gonna hurt, you ain't gonna be able to walk. My mind kept telling me those things. And I realized and I told myself these simple words, and I'm gonna tell you right now, when your mind is trying to tell you that you can't, tell it, shut up. When people are trying to, and I know it's rude, but when people are trying to plant seeds in your life, maybe not to say it audibly, but in your mind, tell those people, shut up. When your mind is trying to tell you that, oh, it will never get better, tell your mind to shut up. Stop allowing the flow to keep going. If the flow is leading you to destruction, you gotta stop the flow. If the flow is leading you to a flood, oh man, I'm going in. If the flow is leading you to a flood of pain, you gotta stop the flow. You gotta put up a dam. You gotta put up some type of barrier to stop that flow. And one of the best barriers for me is to tell myself to shut up and go prove myself wrong. You gotta have mind control, oh man, this deep right here. At least to me it is. You gotta have mind control over the things that are trying to control your mind. I'm gonna say that again. You gotta have mind control over the things that are trying to control your mind. What do you mean by that, Trent? 
When you are starting to believe lies, when people are feeding you things and, and you're feeding yourself things, these things that are destructive, these things are that are debilitating, these things that are liabilities, these things are limitations. You got to be able to tell yourself in that moment, instead of allowing those things to control your mind, you have to combat that. You got to remind yourself of your truth. One of the things that I tell myself when I can't do it and my, and my mind is saying you can't, it's trying to control me. You can't, you can't, you can't, you never will be it. I tell myself in that moment, I can, I go prove it to myself. You see, some of us, we allow people to tell us that our life is never going to be the same without them or no more good is coming to our life or we ain't going to never be nothing. And you allow that to control your mind. You allow that to be the narrative of your life when you don't understand that you are the author of your story. You are the author of your life. I don't care. See, the problem is a lot of us is we giving the pen to other people. We giving a pen to the circumstances instead of God's promises. We giving the pen to outside influences instead of it to ourselves. So we're allowing other people to control the narrative of our life that's not even a part of our life. We're allowing the people to control the narrative of our life when this isn't their life and they're writing your story. Your setbacks, your failures are writing your story. When you're in control of your story, that's having mind control over the things that are trying to control you. When I felt like my life was over, when the world was telling me my life was over, my mom was telling me my life was over, it was winning for a little bit, then I decided, nah, I'm going to take control of my life. I'm going to control of that. It's not going to have a say-so in my life. People are not going to have a say-so in negativity in my life. And I'm going to control that. You have to have mind control over the things that are trying to control your mind. Because if you don't stop the flow of negativity, if you don't stop the flow of limitations, if you don't stop the flow of the things that are negative in your life or the things that are causing you to settle for less or destruction... Your life is going to lead you, that flow is going to lead you to a flood, to a river, to an ocean of not enough, to an ocean of depression, to an ocean of suffering, to an ocean of you not loving your life, to an ocean of you surrendering to your problems instead of surrendering to your peace, you surrendering to people's opinions instead of surrendering to God's truth about you. And that's what happens in our life so many times. You know, but when I talk about these things, y'all, it's hard because a lot of people can't accept it because we feel like things are just supposed to happen in our life because whatever. I'm going to tell you right now, if you don't take control over your life, if you don't put God in control over your life, if you don't take ownership over your life, if you don't live by those five words that I've been saying for the last 13 years, it all starts with you, then you're going to keep on repeating the same things. You're going to keep on allowing your mind to control you. So when your mind says you're enough, you operate like that. When your mind says you're not enough, you operate like that. When your mind says you will never be anything, you start to believe that you live life like that. When your mind says that your life is over, you start to act like your life is over. Instead of, instead of telling yourself, nah, you ain't lying to me today. Shut up. My life ain't over. You know, my mom was telling me, hey, man, your best days were ahead. Hey, man, you know, you went through depression this whole year. Hey, man, you ain't got no more inside you. Shut up. Shut up. I'm going to show you. I'm going to show you what I got. I'm going to show you what I'm made of. I'm going to show you what I'm built for. Because a lot of us, you know, we want faith, but we don't want to go through the trials. A lot of us want strength, but we don't want to go through the struggle. A lot of us, we want to, you know, have all these things, but we don't want to go through it. In order to get to it, my friends, you got to go through it often. In order to get through it, you got to go through it. In order for me to get in shape out here, I wish I can just pray my way into shape. I wish I can just jump my way into shape. I wish I could just hope my way into shape. In order for me to get in shape, I got to go through moments where I'm breathless. I got to go through moments where I'm tired. I got to go through moments where I endure and I keep moving and I keep going and I don't surrender and I keep leveling up and I keep coming back. Even when my mind tells me that you ain't got no more in you, I keep showing up. Even when my mind tells you, hey man, you're too old, you ain't got it like you used to, I keep showing up, I keep showing up, I keep going and I never stop. Because eventually I will control those thoughts. I will change those thoughts and I will become who I know I am instead of selling for who I know I'm not. See, a lot of us on this live, man, we haven't become who we know we are because we're choosing to settle for who we know we're not. And you know it. When you look in the mirror at yourself, because the mirror don't lie, you look in the mirror at yourself, you don't see no life. You don't see no passion. You know what I mean? You don't see no excitement. You just living day by day because you settle for who you're not. You believed it. You'd allowed, you believed it. You allowed, you allowed it to lie to you. You allow that moment to become your identity. You allow that pain to become your life. 
You allowed that season to stay in for a lifetime when it was only meant to stay in for a season. You know what I mean? So you got to have a system, y'all. And I'm not trying to sit here and give you a step-by-step -step thing, but I'm just telling you. You got to be able to challenge the challenges in your life. You got to stop surrendering. See, a lot of us, we say we surrender to God. We say we surrender. If we surrender to God, if we surrender to our faith, if we surrender to our peace, we would operate like that. We would operate as if we're more than a conqueror. We would operate as if the, the victory is already ours. We would operate like that. But a lot of us, we end up surrendering to our circumstances. We end up surrendering to what we see. And when we have faith, we have to know, we have to go beyond what we see visually and trust what we know emotionally, trust what we know spiritually. That's faith. It's going beyond what you see visually and trust in what you know spiritually. So I know if I keep showing up on this trail, I know if I keep being nature shells and I keep showing up on this trail, I'm gonna get back to a place where I need to be. But I know if I keep allowing excuses to say, oh man, well, you, 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 you can't do it. Or uh, uh, you, you too this, you too that. And I believe that and make myself feel good about doing nothing with my life and make myself feel comfortable, even though it's leading me to more uncomfort. I'm never going to change my situation. I'm never going to change my life. You know what I mean? Warriors are built through endurance. Strength is built through endurance. Strong faith is built through endurance. Legendary is built through endurance. Greatness is built through endurance. You have to endure. And the only way you're going to endure is if you tell your mind at times to shut the hell up. And excuse my French. Shut the hell up and you prove whatever it is wrong. That's how you have mind control over the things that are trying to control your mind. Whether it's people, whatever your poison is, people, places, environments, yourself, your past, whatever your poison is. You got to stop allowing those things to control your mind because I'm going to tell you what happens too. A lot of us, we want to do better. Everybody that's watching my, hearing my voice right now, you want to do better. But what you start to think, when you start to do better, you see all the reasons why you can't do better. A lot of us, we want to go on that journey of greatness and go on that journey of becoming the best version of ourselves. But every time we take that step, we feel like, oh, damn, here we go again. Damn, another obstacle. Here we go again. And we turn back. But when you are truly locked in, you already know how you're gonna respond when obstacles and oppositions and challenges come to your life. You know how you're gonna respond. You know how you're gonna respond. There's plenty of times where I wanted to stop. There's plenty of times where I did stop today, but I didn't stay there. I said, I might, I might take a little rest, but I'm not quitting. I'm not, because I'm fighting for something bigger. What are you fighting for? What are you living for? Because when you're living for something bigger, when you're fighting for something bigger, you operate with a different type of intensity. You operate with a different type of mindset. You stop accepting less. You stop using the same excuses. Oh, this is just how I am. This is just how I am. This is just how I am. Well, you know how you're going to stay? It is not just, this is just who I am. This is who you're choosing to settle for. This is who you're choosing to settle for because the journey is hard as hell. But you know what? Stand in a place that is depression quicksand. Stand in a place that is debilitating your life. Stand in a place that's making you think like you're not, you're not anything. It's harder than ever. Moving on from pain is hard, but standing in the pain is harder. So we got to choose our heart in this journey. And I choose to move down a heart that's going to make me better. I choose to move down a heart that's going to make people around me better. I choose to move down a heart that's going to make my family better. I choose to make, move, choose a heart that's going to make my community better. I choose because it's bigger than me. When your life comes, becomes bigger than you, you operate differently. You operate differently. And I know some of us are going through the hardest stuff in our life. Illnesses, sicknesses that aren't fair. That aren't fair. But I promise you, you still can rise above. You still can become greater. You still can take it to the next level. And it's all about your mind. I've seen death come come upon people because they let their mind go they let their mind go the attack is of the mind yeah it might attack your body it might attack what's around you but those things will influence your mind once you influence your mind your mind influences your behavior your behavior influences your your uh your results your actions but it starts in here that's why i tell you to protect your peace that's why i tell you to get out in nature because nature is i'm not saying it because it sounds cool 
That's why I tell you to make sure you, you have some time in prayer and solitude and, and isolation where it's just you and God, just you and your thoughts. So you can, you can go down the list of how you feel. You can, you can evaluate your thoughts. You can, you can empty your thoughts, right? You can talk about it, but a lot of us, we don't release and what we don't release will increase. A lot of us, we don't talk to people. Because I get it, maybe you're afraid to be judged, you don't trust nobody, maybe you feel like they don't care, and we keep all these things inside and we allow the war to win because we're not allowing our resources, our help, to help us. And maybe your resources in nature like me. Maybe your resources jumping on live because I'm, as I'm talking to you, I'm talking to me. Maybe your resources is therapy. Maybe your resources is a coach, I don't know. Maybe it's a friend. But you gotta have something to help you defeat this battle because you'll never win your war by running from your battles, my friend. You'll never win it. You will never win it. You will never win it. And stop thinking like victory is just, it's selective. It's just available to some people. Nah, it's available to you. And your victory, as I leave here today, your victory might not look like applause from the world. Your victory might not look like a million likes online. Your victory might not look like everybody saying they proud of you. Maybe your victory today is simply getting out of bed. Maybe your victory today is simply going for a walk. Maybe your victory today is not ending your life. Maybe your victory today is not popping off on the person you want to pop off on. Maybe your victory today is spending time with your kids. Maybe your victory today is being present with the things that matter. Maybe your victory today is, dive, is, is diving a deeper faith with your relationship with God. You see, even the smallest victories can make the biggest impact. Even the smallest victories are the most major ones in our life. Because those small victories of protecting your peace, protecting your health, of protecting your life, it leads you, it leads you to something greater. It leads you to something greater. You might say, Trent, what's the point of protecting my peace and, and meditation and prayer in the morning? What's the point of, of, of writing down gratitude and being grateful? What's the point? It's just stupid. I don't see a point in that. It doesn't help anything. See, a lot of us, we want this huge shift to happen in our life. But you don't even realize, like, huge shifts happen even through small disruptances, if that makes sense. Small disturbances can create huge shifts in our life. So that you, oh, as a wasp is about to sting me, <laughs> that small sting will create a huge disturbance in my life. But as you start doing the small things in your life and you take care of your mental health, you take care of your mind, you drink water, you're putting the right things in your body. You know, I'm starting to see more, you know, and this might seem very like, some of y'all might, whatever, I don't know, but I, I'm just gonna say this, like, when I used to be out on these trails, man, and this to all my minorities out there, just people in general, but I'm starting to see more people out here on these trails, you know, um, and it's beautiful to me because I know that the trails and getting out around life and fresh air and all these cool things, right, about nature helps your life so much. It releases so many happy chemicals and things that you need in your life that I want to get all nerdy on you guys, but even seeing minorities out here more, because when I was growing up, nature was like, you going out there? Why are you going out there? Nah. It wasn't for, I wouldn't say it wasn't for, but a lot of people didn't do it. Now I'm seeing more people do it. I'm seeing more people take care of their mental health. More people speak out about what they're going through. More people understand that just because I'm going through something doesn't mean I'm weak. Doesn't mean there's something wrong with me. Actually means that I'm a human being because we all go through it. That's something I've been fighting for, for years that people will stop keeping their battles silent. That's why I tell y'all when I'm going through things as much as I can, because I know a lot of you look at me as if, you know, um, as a mentor or whatever, whatever title you want to give me. I mean, obviously I'm just a human being, I'm Trent. But a lot of you look at me as like, oh, Trent has the answers when I have so many questions. I don't have all the answers, by the way. But I share what I go through so I can humanize myself even more and let you know, man, like even a person that, you know, knows a lot still goes through a lot you know what i mean but i want more people out here in nature bring your kids you know get out stop saying it isn't for you stop saying nah, nah, nah. like mental health is everything everything it's everything 
All right, y'all. I got to go, man. I just wanted to share that with y'all. Um, I know I was all over the place, but hopefully, hopefully something, you know, something touched your heart, something. But the main takeaway as I leave here is you got to start having mind control over the things that are trying to control your mind. You know what I mean? You can't allow your mind at times to win. You know what I mean? You can't allow your mind at times to win. Sometimes you can't allow the reality to win. The reality might be you, you're tired, right? It's okay to rest, but maybe your faith says, man, you know what? I got a little bit more in me. The reality might see that, the re your reality might say that, man, my life is a living hell right now. But faith says that maybe I had to go through hell to experience heaven, to get to heaven, you know what I mean? Maybe I have to go through my hardest moments to build my strongest faith and my and my strongest strength. That's that's what you're, that's what winning the mind battle is all about. And I'm gonna be real with you. I don't win it every single day. I have days where I lose it. I had a whole season. <laughs> that's why I'm back out here, man. I had a whole season of me losing it. A whole season of me losing it. And I got sick and tired of being sick and tired. And I told myself on my mom's anniversary her year anniversary i said i'm closing a chapter and it's enough and i'm about to take this to a level it's never seen been before you know what i mean and me going to talk to kids the other day showed me that it's a lot more it's a lot more that i gotta accomplish with you guys help. It's a lot more a lot more hearts that need the message and i can't give a message if if i'm not inspiring myself you know what i mean i gotta inspire myself so i love you I'm proud of you. You can always text that number, 817-242-2719. If you want daily inspiration, I mean, it's hard for me to respond to people one-on-one. -on -one. It's over 100,000 people on that text community, so you can just imagine that. But if you're a person that says, Trent, just send inspiration to my phone, and you know, I do have time sometimes to respond, but it, I mean, the odds of me responding to you is less than 1%, right? But if you're a person that says, man, I wanna, you know, just be more involved in what you do, because I'll tell you right now, in Dallas for Worth, I'm a, you're going to see me. I'm going to go live. I'm going to have a group of people out here. It's called Rehab in the Wild, where I'm going to start really bringing people out here um, to really meditate. I'm doing retreats or planning retreats for men. So men can get out here and be in more in touch with their emotions, right? Be able to talk about the things that the world says that in order to be strong, we can't talk about. We've been lied to. We've been lied to so much. And all those lies have created our suffering. I'm gonna be doing things with kids, helping kids develop at an early age, how to handle your emotions, how to be, how to be more relational intelligent, relationships in your life, emotional intelligent, right? Spiritual. You know, those are things that I wanna do before I leave this earth. You know, I don't know how long I got, so I'm not wasting no time because time ain't promising. I wanna leave my footprint every day, every single day I can, so. Thank you. My mind has been kicking me for many years. I'm going to tell my mind to shut up. It's not easy, though. You're great. You're a great motivator. Yeah, it's not easy. It's not easy, man. It's not. But it is at the same time. You know what I mean? It's not easy, but it is easy. Because it takes action. Inactive, being inactive will cause sicknesses in your life. You know, that's, that's scientific. When you stop moving, right? When you stop moving and you stop increasing blood flow and you have inflammation in your body, that's when sicknesses take place. Well, it's the same things with our mind, y'all. When we don't move, when we sit still, when we just uh, just accept in a negative way, we don't have any circulation, right? An inflammation of negative thoughts, inflammation of, you know, um, lies, inflammation of all these things start to take over our mind. And so I know it's not easy, but at the same time, Getting up is easy. We think, you know, some of us, and even myself at times, we, we outsmart ourselves. We think it's some crazy thing we got to do to change our life, man. I'll tell you right now, if you can dedicate yourself to going out in nature for the next 30 days every day, going to walk for um, in your park, whatever it may be. Oh, wherever it may be. I got I got stung in my eye, so I'll be, I'm aware of these walls, man, because I get stung like once a year and I'm not trying to have that happen. But, um... If you can just do that, you know what I mean? Go around some water if you can. Be safe. Go with somebody. But get around trees, water, mountains if you have it, you know? Um, and just get out there for 30 days. For 30 days. 
bring a journal, journal, listen to some music, have your playlist that sparks inspiration. You know what I mean? Music sparks in, 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 sparks inspiration and information and do it and watch how your life changes, right? It might not be some huge change, but you're going to feel lighter, right? You're going to feel lighter. You're going to drop the, the weight, maybe physical weight, but you're definitely going to drop spiritual and emotional weight. That's just not doing nothing but weighing you down. But most people don't want to do that, right? They hear that and that's too much for them. And that's the thing, man. This fires me up and I know I was going to get off, but that's the thing. This strikes a nerve in me a lot because I see a lot of people come to me and say, Trent, I need help, help, help. And I just tell them, okay, go out in nature for 30 days. I can't do that. Like, and it's not because they physically can't. It's because they don't want to commit to something. And I'm just telling you, man, like without any change, nothing changes. Like accepting the same things, nothing changes. You can complain all you want. You can pray all you want, right? You can hope all you want. You can cuss people out. Nothing is going to change if you don't have some type of action that follows behind even your complaints, that follows behind even your prayers, that follows behind even your ideas. You know what I mean? Like, I tried to cut my grass. <laughs> That's like me trying to cut my grass today by just thinking about it. Man, I just want my grass to be cut. You know what I mean? Like, may may maybe some miraculously somebody just comes and cuts my grass, right? I'm not speaking like it can't happen. But in order to get my grass cut, you know, I had to pressure wash my patio today. My dogs had all the mud on my patio and was footprints everywhere. It looked terrible. And I was like, dang, I really wish that these weren't here. And I said, you know what? Let me grab my pressure washer and get these things off. I had to do it, right? I had to cleanse my patio. And it's the same thing with your soul. You have to take action to be able to cleanse yourself. But some of us, we, we doing things that add more weight to our life. We're doing things that add more chaos to our life. Are we just keeping things in our life? Like in order for something to increase you have to release something. You got to release. You know what I mean? You got to release it. I wear this hat not just for y'all, but to remind myself. When I talk about protect your peace, that's holistically for me. That's environments for me. That's people for me. That's habits for me. That's taking care of my health for me. Because if I don't take care of my health, I'm not going to have peace. Because I'm going to be sick. I'm going to be tired. I'm going to be sluggish. I'm not going to have no energy. None of that. I'm not going to be able to operate as I need to operate with three young kids and be active because I'm choosing to be lazy. You know what I mean? And so I said, protect your peace, Trent. If you don't do that, then you have a lot of a lot of stuff in your mind going on. You see, this is just bigger than just blocking somebody out of your life. You know what I mean? Protect your peace is a whole lifestyle. It's a whole lifestyle. But y'all don't hear me though, man. I don't know. Maybe somebody does. Sometimes I just be feeling like I be talking to myself. And maybe it's just, maybe I am. You know what I mean? But if you feel that, maybe say amen or something or say straight up so I know. But sometimes I really feel like I be talking to myself. And I've been saying these things for years. So sometimes I feel like, man, like people don't care. But that's my mind, right? That's my mind. My mind is telling me that. And I tell my mind right now to shut up and I keep going. <laughs> that's my mind, right? These seeds of doubt. Oh, man. Bro, I'm giving it to y'all this morning, man. I'm giving it, man. Y'all can see nature shells in full effect. I know y'all love, I know that's like my name I give myself, but y'all love nature shells. Trust me. Nature shells is a person that's going live, that's energetic. Nature shells has been, been <laughs> is back. Nature shells has been buried for a little while, man, but I'm back. But nature shells also knows this. And I know this, like a lot of us, we've allowed seeds of doubt to be planted in our life, right? Seeds of limitation. Maybe you allow people to plant those seeds, situations to, to plant those seeds, or we planted those seeds, and we just keep it there. You know what I mean? We just keep it there. And what you do, how you water negative seeds is that you don't do anything, right? And those negative seeds grow. Some of us that have negative seeds are on here right now. Part of controlling your mind is trying to, the things that are trying to control you, having mind control, the things that's trying to control your mind is not just planting new seeds. You got to dig up those old seeds. You got to get the shovel and dig it up. And maybe your shovel is taking care of your health. Maybe your shovel is not accepting less anymore. Maybe your 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 um your shovel is telling your mind to shut up. Whatever your sh your your shovel is, and you got to dig up those seeds of doubt, those seeds of limitation, those seeds that may have been planted 
for years and years of your life. Maybe been planted unfairly from your parents. A lot of us, we live in our parents' fears, our parents' ideas and stuff like that. And we just allow those force, right? It's like a force that we just allow just to grow in our life. And we plan new things every single day, but it's been so much negativity, so much negativity that, you know, it's hard to see the positivity. So like this forest is, you got to plow down things, you got to dig it up, and you got to do the work. And then you can plant those new seeds every single day. You'll start to see the harvest of those new seeds. So it takes time, man. It don't happen overnight. It takes time. And I'm still on this journey of digging up seeds. I believe digging up seeds and negativity is a lifelong journey. You know what I mean? But the goal is to plant more seeds of what you need in your life and dig up more seeds of what you don't need in your life. That's what's going to help you. And that's what's going to help change you. Somebody tweet me this, man. Send me a message on Instagram. If you felt something from today, let me know. I think I'm going to talk about this on my podcast on Wednesday, even more in depth. But as I leave here, for real, for real, because I got to run up this, I'm about to say mountain. Y'all live in mountain. You're like, Trina ain't no mountain. But it's, it's going to get my heart rate in, in zone five. So it's hard enough. But um, I'll leave y'all with these words. A part of being emotional resilient. Hold on, give me one second. How you doing? <laughs> a part of being emotional resilient. And you know what's crazy before I leave here? I've said this before. The reason I love nature too is that you never find a bad attitude out here. Never. I've never found a bad attitude. It's always encouragement. It's always smiles because people are, they have a happy endorphins release. It's just, all right, anyways. When it comes to being emotionally resilient, right? That's what we need in this life to be able to not surrender to the things that are trying to control us emotionally. The key to being emotionally resilient, being emotionally resilient is having mind control over the things that are trying to control your mind. And that's a practice that we all got to get great at. It'll change your life. But I love you. I appreciate you. And I'm proud of you. You know, I know I talk with a lot of passion, but just know it's all tough love, man. I believe in you. That's why I talk like this. I believe in you. And I'm right with you. You know what I mean? I'm right with you. Sometimes I got to go back and hear my own messages. But I'm right with you. We climbing this mountain together. I'm at the top of no mountain. We climbing this mountain together, this mountain of life together. As you help me, I help you. I help you, you help me. And we help others. And that's what this life experience should be about. Like I tell you, it all starts with you. It's rehab time. Let's get, I got to go home and get on hibachi grill. So I'm going from nature shells to hibachi shells, right? I got I to gotta cook some hibachi for my family. My baby boy, he's not a baby no more. We got a football game today. I get to coach some kids after, man. I'm just really focusing on the things that fulfill me. I, and I'll say that for another lot, but I believe like life is about that. Like when you understand, write a list of things that fulfill you and you live your life doing that, oh man, life just becomes better. You know what I mean? And you realize, all right, I'm out. <laughs> I'm about to give you another hour. I'm out. I got to get back. Love y'all. Hey, what's up, rehabs across the world? Trent here. Thank you for watching our new video. I hope it impacted your life. Listen, we're impacting lives all across the world. I want you to know this. It's because of you. It's because of you supporting the messages and sharing the messages. And speaking about sharing the messages, if this video touched your heart, if it's on your heart, please press share because I promise you this, there's somebody in the world right now that needs to watch this video. And by you pressing share, you become a hero in their life. I get messages every single day say, Trent, I had no idea what rehab time was yesterday, but my friend shared the video. I saw it on the timeline and man, did I need it. We're gonna continue to impact the world only with your help. We appreciate you. But like I tell you at the end of every single video, it all starts with you. It's rehab time. Let's get it.